It is a hot start to the summer. It could be a long, hot month for the power grid, Adam. Yeah, it looks that way. For weeks, we've had this stubborn ridge of a high pressure. We need you to move, Ridge. Get out the way. Get out the way, Ridge. Get out the way. A couple of days from now, that finally happens. Sunday, Monday, we're looking better. We're going to be split between these highs, and then we see our temperatures finally come down, and then we finally see some rain back in our forecast. Heat index today, though, could be up around 110 to 112, according to the National Weather Service. 115, the excessive heat warning up there a little farther north of us. And notice now how these warnings are actually expanding farther east and northeast than we've seen these last couple of weeks. So this, again, ridge of high pressure is taking over more real estate east of Texas. Around New Orleans, for example, the heat index could peak at 118 today. Really dangerous stuff there. So here's that area of high pressure on the outer edges of it. That's where some storms may form. Those are going to stay far away from here, so we have more sun in the forecast. We have more heat. This takes us through Friday, but again, as we get into more so the end of the weekend and next week, we finally have a little rain back in our forecast and check out the temperatures coolest in a few weeks as well. So 100 today and then every day that goes by, I think it's going to go about a degree cooler. So it's not like it's a quick uh, shot of cooler air coming our way, but just gradually cooling down Sunday. We're into the mid 90s, a little more cloud cover that should give us at least some shade at times during the day. Uh, mid 90s continue next week for the 4th of July, about 95. We will have to watch out for a couple showers and storms, but it doesn't look like anything too widespread.